Hi guys, Mark here. Today I want to show you what a fucking nightmare it is to remove the front wheel of the M365 and change the tire. Here are the tools I ended up using. A knife, a 4mm Allen key, a 19mm open-ended wrench with extension handle, 244mm motorcycle tire irons, WD-40 lubricant, three bar clamps, and for some hardware modification, a 10mm drill. It starts very innocent by removing the sticker with a sharp knife. Make sure you push in deep with the knife as it is actually a thin sticker on top of a piece of plastic. You want to remove the sticker with the plastic to keep everything intact. Next, remove four hex screws that are underneath the sticker. Underneath we have another set of four hex screws. Remove these as well to loosen the plastic cover on top of the fork. Gotta do the same on the other side. Now comes the first challenge. I tried loosening the axle nut with my wrench to no avail. Full muscle power, but the piece of shit nut wouldn't budge. So I ended up extending the 25 centimeter long wrench with a handle using duct tape to attach it. Not elegant, but it works. The handle made a total length of 50 centimeters. With this nifty extension, the nut finally gave way. I have heard of others on YouTube having similar problems and using a hammer on the wrench to loosen the nut. It's a mystery to me why the nut would be so tight from factory. Loosen the nut on the other side as well and out comes the wheel. Yay! Next challenge, removing the tire from the rim. You have to get yourself some solid tire irons because regular bicycle ones are just too flimsy. You have to go with something like motorcycle irons. I ordered mine from eBay. With those tire irons, the tire actually comes off okay. But having the cable attached to the motor makes the maneuvering around a little bit of a challenge. The race is not over. Until the final furlong. Once I popped the rim off, I realized it was actually on the wrong side. But not to worry, it's easy to pop it on to the other side. Tire off, yay! Next challenge, get the damn tube off the rim. I sprayed the valve seat with some WD-40 to help the valve seat out. That's when the nightmare began. The damn valve wouldn't come out. I swear, I had to become the world wiggle champion. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Finally, after a lot of swearing and jumping around, the thing gave way. Yay! Now add new tire. Oh no, same shit again. The damn valve would just not fit. I went into another rage and decided I've had it. I grabbed my drill to increase the size of the valve seat so that that shitty valve should slide into the rim. Folks, I don't recommend doing this on your scooter. I haven't heard of anyone else complaining about the same problem, so maybe it's just me. Either way, tube on the rim. Yay! Next up, mount tire. First, some lube on the bead of the tire so it can slip onto the rim. Now, tube into the tire. Push the rim into the tire so one side is in. That's not so bad with the loop. Yeah. 
Turn everything around and loop the other beat. Final challenge, get the other side of the tire onto the rim. First pop about half of the tire on, then clamp that half so it doesn't slide off again. The race is not over until the final furlong. Now grab the trusty tire irons and lift the rest of the tire on. The last bit you can just push onto the rim. And voila, tire is on the rim. Now pump up the tire to make sure everything is okay. The last bit is straightforward. Mount the wheel onto the scooter. All right, finally finished. And as you could see, it was uh, a lot of sweat and uh, a lot of swearing. And uh, I certainly didn't enjoy it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe.